This is going to be the first time the ward has been seen in 73 years since she was sank. We've got some wreckage just coming into view. December 7, 1941, the USS Ward fired the first shot of the war for U.S. forces. She fired at and sunk a Japanese midget sub outside of Pearl Harbor trying to enter. A ship was coming back from Canton Island towing a barge and reported that there was something apparently following her in, in her wake, a small submarine, which turned out to be one of the six midget submarines that were assigned to the attack. The USS Ward was on channel entrance patrol that morning and attacked the sub and sank her with a shot through the conning tower on the second shot. The Ward was originally built just before World War I. It was built in 17 and a half days in uh, Mare Island. In 1943, it was changed to a, a, a fast transport, APD-16. And uh, it was sunk by a kamikaze, a, a twin Betty. And one of them smashed into the Ward and the engines went right through the Ward lost all power, was unable to uh, fight the fires, it was too far gone, and finally they, they just picked up the, the crew, backed off to about 800 yards, and they, they scuttled the ward. Uh, and that was on December 7th, 1944. We've done uh, a number of these explorations to try to find uh, sunken warships, so we try to do these both as, as really exciting examples of underwater archaeology and, and as tributes to the the brave men that went down on these ships.